Hi, I'm Chris Softhouse, and in this post, we're going to look at how to use the set expressions within the expression editor of ClickSense November 2018. For those that don't know, set expressions allow the user to predefine the selection state of a given expression. So, for example, we've got two KPIs here, both using the sum of sales. As you'd expect, as I make my selection, they will flex accordingly. But let's say I had a target to focus on the UK sales. So I might want a KPI that always looks at UK sales. To do that, we'll leave this selection uh, made and we'll go into the edit mode. I'm gonna open up the expression panel and I'm just gonna start with a blank canvas. Now there's two ways you can apply the set expression. You can either use a predefined bookmark and select your bookmark there. But what I'm gonna do is use the current selections that I've already made. Next, you'll select your field, your aggregation, and just enable set expression. Then click insert and it will write the necessary expression on your behalf. Click apply and then this will reflect accordingly within the user interface. Now, as I start making my other selections, so if I select for example the USA, you can see that the KPI on the right hand side flexes as you'd expect, but the expression on the left hand side is fixed to the UK. So if I clear my selection, you can see that we're looking at all sales on the right hand side there were still predefined to UK sales. Now just because we've made a predefined selection on the country it will still flex when I make a selection in other fields. So now I'm looking at UK sales for the product ID 11. So that's set expressions and I'll show you more next time.